soft and today i'm going to explain the installation and also what are the topics which i'm going to cover anyway last week i have covered today also i'm going to cover and after that i'm going to explain the how to install the software and what are the software is required to learn mule soft okay the topic wise what are the topic which i'm going to cover one is mule flows hope you've gone through the my recording with uh, introduction video so that you can able to understand what is flows and all okay and that includes combination of pallets okay and second one is data view language the purpose of data view language for transformation transformation means if we have a one format of file and you want to convert other format of the file example xml to csv conversion so if you want to implement convert conversion from one format to other format means of support the language called data view language the short form is dwl language okay and the third one is api api means application programming interface purpose of this one to implement the rest based services to implement the rest based services means of support the concept called apis if we want to implement the apis there is a language called raml raml means rest api modeling language okay by using raml we are going to implement the apis apis are nothing but a rest based services services are nothing but a reusable components once one time we are going to create and we, whenever we want we can reuse it so those are concept called apis apis are implementing different different technical languages but we also support the language called raml raml means rest api modeling language fourth one is exceptions while doing the uh, mule flows or implementing the data we are implement the aps if you are facing any issue the, uh, how to handle exceptions the customer fifth one is unit mule unit testing okay mule unit testing is once the development has been completed then sometime customers are asking to write the test cases unit test cases all the developers are writing the unit test cases means if you are passing this one and you are getting this data if you are not passing other than this then what is the data which you are getting like positive scenario negative scenario kind of mechanism if we want to implement m unit is the concept and sixth one is deployments So, how to deploy your application? The deployment. Deploy cloud-based environments comes under seventh one is security. So, APIs or mule flows, what kind of security which are implemented? This comes under security topic. These are the major topics. This comes under some subtopics also, but these are the topics which I am going to. What is mule flows? That comes. comes under combination of pallets and data view language to do the transformation apis to implement the services rest based services exceptions uh, to handle the a customer handle the exception and to display the customized ex exception to the end user and m unit like unit testing nothing but to generate the positive scenario and negative scenario this kind of topic which comes under m unit and deployments and security these are the major topics which i am going to cover during the training session and software point of view so software means one is any point studio any point studio what is the purpose of this one to design the mule flows this is the editor okay this is the editor tool based editor where we are going to design our mule flows means nothing but to development part so to develop the mule flows 
that that includes the combination of palettes, the data with APIs, exceptions, a minute, everything. This comes under AnyPoint Studio. AnyPoint Studio is the editor that is nothing but a develop development editor where we are going to design our new flows. Okay, another one is AnyPoint Platform. Platform. Any point platform means to deploy your application, to provide security, and to watch the monitoring on your APIs or performance on your mule flows, and to verify the logs, to provide the security. All comes under any point platform. Okay, deployment, security, and also if you want, you can design APIs also. Any point platform as well as any point studio, you can design. Both AnyPoint Studio and AnyPoint Platform, but most of the time people are using AnyPoint Platform only to design APIs and deployment security to monitor your application performance to show the uh, chart level and to verify the logs, etc., etc. These kind of comes under AnyPoint Platform. For learning purpose, MuleSoft provide AnyPoint Platform. It's a one-month trial version. This is not a software. This is a completely cloud-based application. No need to install any software for this one. This is where application log in with uh, you, there is no difference between trial version and uh, uh, once you are into the project, the project version also. Both are the same, but the only difference is in the real time customers are buying the product because that is a completely cloud based application. For learning purpose, MuleSoft provide every customer as one month trial version. After one month, your account is going to be expiring. Again, you need to create one more account. During one month, whatever done, whatever you learn or you practice, the data which is available, but only read purpose only, not in the right purpose. So that is the difference between the AnyPoint platform and the community and the open source version. On. So this is also completely open source one. Directly you can download from the software online and you can install the software with your mission. But any point platform, just completely cloud-based application. No need to install any software on it. After one month, you can create new accounts. Whatever the data which is available last month, which is available only, only read access, not in the right access. But real time, it won't expire. They're completely, they're going to buy the product the same, whatever the account which you are able to access old uh, like, uh, uh, like last month or this month also, it won't expire. The same credentials you can able to access. This is the two software is required to learn mail software. And version point of view, what are the versions which I'm going to use? Any point studio version is that keep on changing the version. Now currently I'm going to cover, I believe, 7.2.x, like 7.2.2, 2.3. That keep on changing the version month by month or every 40 days. So 7.2.x, which I'm going to cover, and this is the editor version, studio version I'm talking about. In the studio, they already built the server also. So after design your main flows, you want to run in a local mission. That is any point server. That is nothing but a main server. 4.2.x version. So 4.2 is the server. And any point studio is the editor that version 7.2.x. So this is the version which I'm going to cover. And this is the studio is required, and this is the any point platform. And another one is three is post uh, so I I mean, did you check your email? I have sent you the next email with new link and I sent you the WhatsApp details also. Sorry, Shashank, please continue. Okay, okay. And the Postman is the software to test your rest based services. Postman is the one more editor. In real time, also people are using the Postman only. There are a couple of things are available, but most of the projects people are using the Postman also. So this is only testing related software only. But as per Mule point of view, any point studio, any point platform, after design your Mule flows, you want to test your application. Postman is the editor. In the postman, we are going to test your all your new applications. So these are the software is required. And after install your AnyPoint Studio, backend Java is running. So can you please verify whether the Java is available or not in your mission? If not, you can install Java 8 version. 
because the any point platform is built on java only so compulsory back end java is running in your machine java 8 is required more than 8 also fine but java 8 and 9 10 also it is fine this these are the software is required to learn completely in this for mills of point of it these are the two softwares and related to this one and this is the postman is the to test your all mill flows only and java it is because any point studio built on java by using java they have implemented the any point studio editor so that is the reason back and java is required so these are the topics software is required to learn new software any doubt here okay good okay thank you and if you want to install the any point studio right simply you can go to google here yeah, download any point studio any point studio, you can enter the any point studio go to any point studio mails out official site and download studio here you can see the download any point studio 7 and 4 because 7 they are starting with the version 7.1.2 1.2 1 .2, like this they are keep on increasing the versions only so they are randomly mentioned that 7 only and server is 4 and 4.1.2 1 .2, like this only they are also keep on increasing the versions only so that is the reason they have mentioned 7 and 4 7 means studio 4 means editor total they are calling as a mil 4 only what version you are learning the mil means replacing that mil 4 only okay that before previous version is mil 3 3 point 9.2 9.3 9.4 also like this they are going to keep on increasing the versions after that they complete migrating the mil 4 which was maybe 2018 uh, mid of 2018 or end of 2018 year they are going to introduce the mil 4 but previous version is this is the version previous version 3.8 3.7 3.9 they keep on increasing now completely the company name called any mule soft but recently 2018 end of year sales for take over the mill soft now company owner is salesforce only before company name tool name is the both are same now 2018 end of year uh, sales for take over the company now one of the company is salesforce hello hello yeah yes, hi this is padma yeah tell me yes padma uh, today is it india call or are you padma please join the meeting and continue the class we'll explain you later okay i'll call you and uh, let you know first uh, let's continue with the class okay, okay yeah okay okay i just it's just audio call right no video um did you log in through your laptop no laptop i could not able to log in so i just called um, uh, use the phone okay no problem for today but tomorrow onwards please log in using your laptop and okay okay, yes, okay. please continue yes, sure thank you okay now company name and before 2018 before company name and tool name both are same now 2018 end of year sales for take over the mill soft now one of the company and tool name is as the same mill soft now come back to here and the studio so, uh, software point of view i told you that editor version is 7.x and server version is 4 mil 4 version okay if you want to install previous version also it is available here only now um, currently running in the market is mil 4 and 7 only so directly i'm going to start with the latest version okay now if you want to install the software download 30 day free trial but it won't expire no worry about that studio it won't expire only any point platform it won't expire. It expire for today. It won't expire. No worry about that. Okay. Just you can select this operating system, Windows or Mac or Linux machines. So mine is Windows only. I'm going to select the Windows machine and uh, enter the I agree. Select this option and you can download the software. Okay. After click on download, it is going to be downloading with a zip file. I'll show you that your zip file as well. Okay. And this is the GIF file it is going to install. Any point studio win 64 bit. My laptop is 64 bit. So it, I was selecting a 64 bit 7.1.1. Okay, just to double click on this version example and double click on this one. This is the GIF file automatically extracted folder and this is the editor uh, icon. If you click on this editor icon, there is a window is going to be displayed in pop up window. 
here normally if you are going to install any software you are click on uh, normally using next next option in any point studio there is no next related next next option only just to zip file is going to be, zip file is going to be downloaded extract the zip file and this is the after extracting this is the folder get generated click on this one this is the icon just to double click on this icon and it is display one pop up window where it is asking your local workspace where all your examples are storing the location it is asking then based upon your comfortable you have to give one one your local workspace one okay then before click on this one and i told you right java is required java is required so java jo open jdk 8 is required to download so can you please verify which version of java is available in your mission if it is available i'm talking about if it is available and which version if not then you can directly download with the java 8 version if it is available verify the version if it is 7 or 6 then you can migrate with the latest version that is nothing but above 8 is fine 8 or above 8 is fine okay then click on if you want to install the java also directly you can log in with the oracle because company name now oracle take out the java right so you can log in with the oracle and you can open with your credentials and you can download the oracle company site also others anyway they have given the uh, link also open jdk and 8 by default they have mentioned just you can download it latest release is java you can click on this one then one jar file is going to be downloaded a uh, jar file double click on this one it is normally next next option it is going to be asking click on next next option the software is going to be installed in your mission like i will show you that that one also java program files java. this is the java and jdk i told you that after install the java these two files are generated jdk means java development kit and jrm is java runtime environment 1.8 version is required because after click on download option one jar file is get downloaded then double click on the jar file it is asking for the next next only way software you want to install just to download it on the java software once you download the java you need to set up your class path because back end i told you that back end java is running you need to set up the class path so if it is class path means windows if you are using edit environment variable you can enter like edit environment variable click on this one double click environment variable option is available click on this one here click on new okay java underscore home enter and variable name means wherever you install the java right just double click on this one jdk copy this one then keep it here so like this i already enter like this c program file java jdk so i have installed the java in my mission c program file java jdk 1.8.0 1.81 like this you have to set up the class path click on okay and restart your laptop once java class path has been set up you need to restart your laptop or desktop only then only changes get reflected okay this is the only thing is required before this option i'm talking about before double click on the any point studio icon once you download it and parallel you can download the java as well once the java download successfully and install the software set the class path restart your laptop then you can extract the any point studio zip file okay please remember this one okay then go back to here the software this is the one okay double click on this okay any doubt here installation part very easy to install the software so because other technologies uh, sometimes uh, that is it, it is created the complicated only but any point studio point of view we are not installing any software just to download the zip file extract the zip file double click on this one that is the only required if you double click on this one this is the editor uh, this is the window it is going to be open and it asking for the workspace in your local workspace you have to give and click on launch example if i enter 11 it asks for click on launch studio is going to be installing
this is the editor i told you right this is the any point studio editor where we are going to design our mirror flows by using the editor okay and this is the editor only so here left side is there is a project structure and the right side is the i told you that palettes and this is the middle place where we are going to design our mirror flow first to open this editor and if you want to start your development click on file new mirror project this is the very basic thing mirror project enter this one first first time right it will take some time it will take time only Then it's asking for the project name. So whatever the project you want, you can give it sample example. Okay, finish. So if we enter the project name, automatically the project which is available created in the left side only. This is the project name which I have created. Just to expand this one, there are couple of palette folders are available here. one is src mean source main mule in the src main mule we are going to design our mule flows see this is the sample.xml after creating the project automatically this xml.xml file is going to be generated and this is the logo of mule means soft logo this one sample.xml where we are going to create our mule flows here you can see and close this one if you want and if you want to create the mule flows okay double click on this one. here mirror flows are developing this is nothing but which folder we are going to design our mirror flows src main mule by using this folder we are going to design our mirror flows and other one is src main java if you want to any java classes they are given the provision but up to your wish whether you want to write it or not but not max ma most of the scenario most of the time we won't write any java classes but in rare scenarios we are going to write the java but they are given the provision to write the java classes and src main resources means resources means while designing the uh, developing the mule flows you want to test your your mule flows and uh, in that that time you need any sample files required and usually we are keeping our local drive like c drive or d drive or whatever like instead of keeping your local drive you want to maintain here on here only so that no need to search for again and again if you want to test or uh, anyway you had developed this flow after one month you want to test your flow because the project is available in the your local workspace again and again we want, we are going to verify what is the file it is required to say, to test my application means instead of searching in your local all the files if you want you can keep it here only there is no restriction if whatever the files you want and n number of files also search main resource will support how to keep it right example this is the file i am talking copy this file and just to select this one control v see this is the json file the file is going to be available here on okay like this if you want to keep all your sample files then go for the src main resource src main app is a folder where we are going to design our mule flows src main java to write your java classes is required and src main resource means where you are going to keep all your sample files also and if we expand the src main resource if we expand src main resource there is a option called api api means i told you right application programming interfaces application program interfaces what is the purpose of this one to design rest based services to implement the rest based services there is a concept called 
API. By using API, we are going to design rest-based services. If you want to implement, if you want to design APIs, in the market there are a couple of languages are available, but means of support the language called RAML. So to design your RAML files in APIs, we need to select a folder called API only. So each concept, they are going to differentiate only. If you want to implement this concept, you can choose this folder. Like this only, system will support. Otherwise, system can't support. So to design APIs, we need to select API folder. Keep the, if you want to maintain all your sample files, we need to keep the SRS main resource. If you are keeping the SRS main mule example sample files, system won't support. So as per the standard we should follow, then only system will support, okay? And okay, and then after that, SRC test Java, test unit, test resource. So this is the comes under SRC main mule Java resource, this comes under development part. And the testing part, M unit, as I told you, right? Uh, M unit, mule unit testing, positive scenario, negative scenario you want to implement after completion of your development, then comes under SRC test Java, test M unit, test resource. While doing the uh, testing M unit, we need to select the SRC test M unit only. This folder only, it is going to be supporting to design M unit flows. While doing M unit, if we need any sample files, SRC test resource, we should maintain. Don't keep it SRC main resource. SRC main, main part is comes under development. SRC test part comes under testing part. Okay, while doing the testing also, do you require any Java classes? You can use this folder. Yeah, this is the M minute folder and this is the sample files maintaining for testing regarding testing. This is the sample for menu regarding development and this is the testing. While doing testing, you need to fetch the sample files. If you are, if you are keeping here, system won't support, won't support, okay? Please remember, these are the list of folders which are using very, very frequently. And this is the mill server currently 4.1.4. So they keep on increasing the versions only. So four is the latest version. The version, these are the minor, very minor difference only. Okay, like a 4.1.4, 4.1.5. No worry about that on which version, but 4 is the latest version. Okay, now server version is 4.1.4. Currently, in my mission, if you are installing 2, I believe, okay, or 4.1.9. Okay, mule server is the version. Server means they already installed the server, so that server is mule server 4.1.4. So these are the folders which you are going to be using very frequently. The rest of everything we won't use about that. And these are the list of Java files they already configured after install your, after creation of project automatically, your, uh, these are the jobs automatically installed. When it comes under studio version, on which studio version you want to know, go to help about any point studio and the studio version is 7.3.0 and correctly my mission. Okay. And here install new software is available. If you click on this one, what is the purpose of this one, right? If you want to install any software, studio related palettes or anything, you can go and verify install only. And example, currently you are using 7.3 version, but you want to migrate with the 4.1.4 or lower version also. Just you can enter mule runtime here. Okay, it will display the, which is the latest versions are available. See 4.2.2. Usually if you want to install any software, normally we are going in the Google and searching only instead of searching. So studio one soft one version of software which you already installed and you want to migrate with the latest version or degrade with the lower version, no, no need to search in the Google. Studio itself only you want to migrate also. See 4.1.2, 4.1.4. See after that, this is the 4.2.2. If I want to migrate, then just to click on text box and click on next, and I'm going to migrate the version. Or else I want lower version, because currently 4.1.3, 4, when my version, I want to use the 4.1.3, then next. The, why it is required, right? If you are into the project, we don't know which version we are working. Sometimes we are working the 4.1.2 also, 4.2 also. But initially, they installed the one version of software. Based upon the project, they, they asked me to migrate to version. Uh, usually what we are doing, go to the Google and search in. Instead of searching, 
anyway studio is available just to go to the uh, install new software enter the new runtime version from there you can migrate or degrade lower version or upgrade with the higher version that is up to your wish and if you click on check for updates check for updates means the what are the list of latest palettes upgrades and everything it is going to update it only see 4.1.4 is the latest one now click on next option those changes will be reflected in your any punch studio so these are the basic things to design your meal flows only any doubt here okay and when comes to the right side yeah okay when comes to the right side these are the meal palettes i told you right these are the meal palettes each palette have each behavior we use it to drag that palette example we used to drag that palette okay where we are going to define the configurations each palette and we can design the flows i told you this first topic is meal flows this is the meal flows and we use it to drag multiple palettes here okay this is nothing but a each palette name so this is the set palette this is the transfer message based upon the requirement we use we need to drag the corresponding palette and we are after drag the corresponding palette we are going to define the configuration that is the development part which i am going to cover during the training okay these are the palettes names comes to the right side part first i am going to explain right side one <coughs> okay first first is this is the one so if we are, these are the default palettes which is available you want to install extra palettes also available but which is available on the exchange exchange i am going to cover in when it comes under any point platform okay then add modules means these are the module names ap kit ap kit super database email okay example you want to access any database or at the sql or anything just you can drag this module and this module these are the list of palettes only so they are going to giving the name called database the database they are used to calling as a module in the database what we are going to doing we are going to select the data delete the data update and insert our process of functions bulk update these are the operations these operation comes under database so they are used to calling as a database as a module each module have a list of palettes based upon your requirement we need to select the corresponding palette name that is nothing but a module here and favorite we are using the frequently these are the palette which i am using frequently so instead of searching i want to keep it as a favorite so that we can keep it how to keep example database palette you want to keep it as frequently you are using example database palette i am going to use the select as a frequently then just right click on the favorite add to favorite this palette comes under add favorite only so select on but i don't want favorite i want to revert back right click then remove the favorite palette is not available this is the palette favorite one add module nothing but a each name like example database is the one module that database we are doing the multiple operations so the each operation they are used call as a palette only okay then core palettes these are the very core palettes okay very frequently which you are using so that is the reason they are mentioning as it core palettes only. these are the palettes which we are using frequently this these are not comes under any module these are the independent of this palette so that is the reason they are mentioning as a core palettes and this is the module wise http socket like this these are the modules only what are the module which you want example email module i want and email on email what are the operation which are doing list email mark as deleted mark as read send mail these are the palettes only so this is the difference between favorite core and modules only and if you want to install anything or new palette right just you can example so any point platform account is required so anyway if you, you are i'm going to explain the exchange what is exchange only but if you want to install any palette there is a place called exchange exchange is the place you can see the exchange so
so mills of not only these this these many pallets there are plenty of pallet they already configured i will show you that one also any point platform i told you that no need to install any software just to go to here okay any point platform login login just enter any point platform official site you can enter on this you can sign up with your credentials okay anyway i have an account sign in okay this is the any point platform same it which are using the real time also i told you that this is the one which is going to be expired after one month okay these are the list of tabs are available each tab have each behavior i'm going to cover when it comes to the api part exchange means this is the exchange so any point studio any point platform we are going to establish the connection so if you see you can see here any point platform all assets means these are the list of pallets which is available here on instead of searching and login with any point platform here they are giving the option set from any point studio only okay you can log in from here please log in whatever the account which you have created any point platform you can enter with the credentials so that studio is going to be directly communicate with the any point platform okay it is asking for the work credentials example the same credential whatever i enter complete now what are the pallet example you want sap pallets or cloud based pallets any pallets if you want to enter now account has been logged in example you want sap related pallets sap just enter it is today is going to be communicate with any point platform to where to which tab it is going to be communicating exchange tab in the exchange these are the list of pallets so keep on including here loading only so there are n number of pallets are they are already implemented only so if you want you can download from here also example i want this palette the same palette i'm going to using in the studio just double click on this one it is asking for the download so directly the palette is going to download it only instead of login any point platform from studio itself you can go and verify only login okay which palette you want sap related these are the sap related palette what are the palette you want just example if i want this one and then okay finish the pallet is going to be populated here on studio itself so like this we want extra pallet include in my studio so instead of login with any point platform separately from studio you can log in with your credentials directly it is going to be coming to the exchange from the whatever the name you want you can search it it will display the list of pallets whatever the name which you enter that related name it will display the list of pallets and what pallet you want you can just select it add it click on finish that is automatically install in your studio so this is about the pallet tab this is the folder structure where we are going to designing mill first those that corresponding folder we need to select this is the place we are where we are going to design our mill floors and this is the place all the list of pallets are available add module as a cover favorite core and these are the each module what are the module you want just you can enter you can drag it drag it you can see Then I select drag here to add a project. You want Salesforce pallet and drag it here. Salesforce is the module by using Salesforce. These are the operations which you are doing. So which operation you want? You can select the corresponding operation and do the work changes. Okay. Any doubt here? And the right side point of and coming back, right click on the project. these are the options are available example and you want to delete the project right click on the delete so first it will display the one pop up window just if you delete the okay means the project is going to be deleted in the studio only but if you select this option means it is going to be deleting as a permanently because currently my workspace is local workspace email for and you want as a permanent delete select this option and first if you are not delete this one but project is going to be deleted here but which is available in your local workspace so based upon your requirement we need to select which one you want okay and 
right click go to here and which workspace you want to know which workspace currently i'm going to pointing this is the sorry this, one, this is the switch workspace i'm talking about want to see right click properties this is also major things this is the location all your projects are storing and directly if you want click on this one this is going to be redirect your local workspace see this is also option this is the basic things only that is the reason i'm going to explain and right click on the project once i have created the one project and like this we are going to create number of project currently i am working on this i don't want to use as of now i want to use feature instead of deleting then you can close your project also here just close the project it is not visible the data you again you want to open it right click open okay like this this is also one more shortcut frequently which we are using okay then the rest of the concept which i am going to cover on options okay now first very first palette if you want to design very first palette there is a name called flow palette just to try search with uh, this is the search option if you are familiar with the name of the palettes what palettes you want to design then instead of searching here one by one go to here just i know the name of the palette just search it will display the list of palettes what i entered okay i want flow palette this comes under core only see this is the core drag the flow palette this is the very very first palette okay if you drag the flow palette there there are three options are available one is source one is process another one is error handler okay explain this one. there are three types here source process error handler source is nothing but a where we are going to communicate with the source system example your source application is a salesforce application and you need to send the data to the sap system your source is sap connector so like this and you are coming with the sap system and you are placing the sap connector here communication between application and the source application target target application we are using the name of the palette called connector connector is the responsible to communicate with the source application after communication established and it usually communicate the system whenever source application send the data by using this connector we are going to collect means we means means of collect the data and it is going to hand out to the process in the process where we are going to implement the business logic what kind of business logic which we are going to implement means whatever the target system is expecting that kind of business logic which we are going to implement in the process okay source means it is only allowing the connectors connector is the responsible to communicate with the source application always to collect the data source always collect the data from the source application and whatever the data mule mule also hand over to the source the source of hand over to the source application it is communicate with the both the source application as well as the mule okay and source way what palette we are going to keeping the source only connector connector related palette example that is in the http is the connector and this is the listener so source always listening the data so listening means whatever the sender is sending sender means source application source application means sap is the source application example so sender is the source application sender send a data by using this connector it is going to be collect, collecting the data so that is the reason this name called as a listener source always we are keeping the listener palette listener means always listening the data means nothing but receiving the data so receiver or consumer listener name is different behavior is common sometimes people are saying listener receiver consumer the name is different the behavior is common only okay and this is the connector this connect by using this connector we are going to collect the data once collect the data it is going to be hand out to the process this is the only responsibility listening 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 whatever the sender sending listening listening means receiving the data once receiving it is going to hand out to the process in the process where we are going to design our mule flows by using process we are design the mule flows and error handler while collecting or while hand overing or while designing if you are facing any issue by using error handler we are handle that exception and display to the end user that error message i'm talking about okay 
by that error. This is the purpose of error handling. If you want, you can use the error handling. I don't want error handling. Just minimize this one. That is up to your wish. Okay. And next palette is set pillar. I will let you know what is the set pillar. Also. Okay. Just to drag the set pillar. And you are going to establish the connection. So source always allowing the listener palettes and listener palettes. We are not writing any business logic. Only connection establishment. So whatever the source application, example Salesforce, Salesforce connector is required. SAP, SAP related listener is required. Cloud, Cloud, AW, Azure, 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 or any CRM connector, CRM application, CRM connector. Like this only, that correspond based upon the application, that related corresponding listener, we need to select here. So these are the, all the listeners, for the technology related listeners, they already implemented. Now worry about that, all the listeners which are implemented in the exchange only. So if you search here, you can relate n number if you want. Example, Azure. Azure, you can search like Azure connector. So there are plenty of Azure connectors are available. Which connector you want? If, uh, at the time of requirement gathering, they will let you know this connector will support. And you can just drag this connector and you can keep it in the source place. And after any connector, if you are placing in the source place, first we need to establish the connection. This connector, connector information also connect, customer will share. Just to click on place option, then based upon the connector, configuration is different only. If you are using a HTTP connector, the default thing is host and port details. What is the host, what is the port, customer will share. So just you can keep it only, copy paste. Then the, by default, now currently it is running in my local mission, right? So that is the reason I am going to select local host. By default, port number is 8081. Then if whatever the name you want, you can enter or else keep it as as it is. That is nothing but 8081. And another one is path is required. Local host, even I am also using, port number I am also using, other guy also using the same user and password. But path is uniqueness. Always path is unique. Okay, then whatever the name you want, you can enter. Now, HTTP connection has been established. So, if you want to establish the HTTP connection, what are the mandatory things is required? Host, port, path. These are the mandatory things is required to establish the connection. Like this, each connector, they have their own properties. We need to pass the properties or uh, things, then it is going to be connection has been established. Once connection has been established, then uh, what it is doing after deploy or application, it always communicate with the source population. What whenever they are sending the data, simply it is going to be collecting and out of the mute. That is the automatic process. Any doubt here? Okay. Once connection has been established, then example very basic flow. I am going to explain. Select one set pellet. I will let you know what is the set pellet also. Just drag this one. I am going to write my own center. How to run? I am going to explain. I am fine. Okay. Now this is only one palette which I configure in the process. After set palette, I am not configuring any other palette. I didn't select it also. Means I am thinking like my flow is completed. Okay. Then I want to test my flow. Okay. How to test my flow means right click, run project. For the what is the project name? This is the sample project. This is your project. Right click. Sample project is going to be deployed. Okay, and there are a couple of ways we are going to run your project. Right click this one also, or else this one here also. Run okay, run configuration. And what is that? There are two projects are available which project you want to run. You can select sample, apply, run. This is second option. Okay, first one is this is the shortcut. No. This is the shortcut only, and the second one is this one. And here also you can able to see that here also run as run configuration. So Windows anyway navigated to from here on the same window only. The way we are going to run as three different ways. Most most of the time we are using here only. Instead of going right click enter this one, it will take time only, right? So that is the reason we are going to run this one. Run project sample. Inbuilt in studio. Inbuilt, they already configured the server. No need to install any server to run your application. Just after designing your new flows, 
and right click on this one as a run mode so that it is going to be running in your local machine. So still running now. So uh, after running, the server related logs are populated in here under console tab. The console tabs means all after deploying that the deployment has been successfully completed on into a local mission. In the console, it is going to be showing. So you can notice that. Keep on monitoring whether what is the status of control, whether your application has been deployed or not in the local. I'm talking not in the cloud, only local. Initial right, first time it will take time only. So one or two minutes. And after that, it won't take much time. Still running now. Still, you can see the sample one. You know, two part. Two percent is completed. Hundred percent. We are going to wait. First time, it will take time. So, any doubt here till now? Installation part, topic wise. This is Chandra. So I have like uh, two questions. One was on the on the updates that you go get, uh, fetch from web. So in in real time. So could you just go go and fetch any any of those updates, or would it be like admin that takes care of these? No, no, no. Studio kind of updates you can take it your own. Okay. Same with the palette. So you can just go download whatever is available into your uh, machine. Yes. 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 It's not an update. Uh, admin only. Admin is part is completely any point platform. Admin okay, part but, is any. Oh, okay. Platform. So any point platform, anything to do with any yeah. platform is admin. Okay. So, admin but it, it doesn't depend on. Okay. So so whatever palette that you pick or whatever the version or the updates that you do on onto your studio, it does not impact your uh, uh, end point platform. That's a different thing. Correct. Yes. 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 Okay. That and, is completely. Uh, second question was on the. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Please go ahead. No, there is no difference between any point student. So uh, it won't impact. I'm talking about. So completely, no, whatever no. the updates is directly going to uh, download on it won't impact. Yeah. Okay. So so there's nothing to do with any point platform tied with the studio updates or uh, palettes or anything as such. Correct. No. No. no nothing. Okay. Because so why? Question. Yeah. Yeah. Tell mm -hmm. me. Sorry. Yeah, why it is required? Why it is required? Because sometimes, because I am into the project. Example, my uh, my application mm -hmm. was implemented 4.1.2, but late, next month mm -hmm. I am into other project, same account, other project, but they are implementing the latest version 4.2. So these are the conflict that happens frequently, because even the yeah. studio 4.0 version they are not still not at stable. They keep on increasing the version, but previous version, mm -hmm. older version they are going to stable. That is won't impact on, uh, won't bother about that. But whatever the four four data types people are working, they are not continuously maintaining the standard version, same version. Example, last okay. two months ago, if I'm the project, I'm using the 4.2. Now currently I'm with the 4.2.2. So keep on installing the software. That is it. It lock in more more space in omission. So that is the reason they are giving the options here only. Install new software. So it is going to be upgrading only. Means like this, only one server is going to be added. Uh, so if you same code, if you want to maintain two different servers, same studio, if you want to maintain two different codes also, it won't impact. Okay. Clear. Yeah. 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 And uh, I had another question on the on your sample flow. Like I, uh, you mentioned that on the flow that you could only use the HTTP activities. So what if if, I, if there's a file, if my source is a file and I have to read the file or pick from the file? Yeah, I'm going to cover file palettes. I'm going to cover. Oh, you're going to cover. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. this so, is basic, yeah. and the database palettes also I'm going to cover. You no worry about that. Okay. That I'm going to cover. Okay, okay. All right. Because most of the time we are using the REST-based services only, so that is the reason I was selecting as HTTP. Then after that, I'm going to cover the database file, SMTP palettes, or SFTP also. No. Okay. 
Any other doubts? And JMS also I'm going to cover. Uh, queue communication related connector flows I'm going to cover. So some of the pallets are connectors are the paid versions only. If you buy the product, then only can you able to use in your if you want to use the practice. Even once connector, we are not writing any business logic. Any connector I'm talking about, even file also. Just to establish the connection. If you are using the file pallets, also what we are doing, we are passing the path and the counter configuration, which folder you want to select. That is the configuration folder, right? The same way, rest of the connectors also, we are not writing any business logic. Only connector is the responsible to communicate with the system. How we are going to communicate them, the configuration is required. So like uh, HTTP, one configuration file, one config, Salesforce, SFTP, Azure, what are the username, passwords, or uh, jar files, is it, that kind of configuration, which are going to configure based upon the connector. So connector is the responsible always, is the community source system. What are the information required? Customer will share, we can pause, the, pause those information, and connection have created the connection. That is the one which we are doing. Only we are going to concentrate on process. Means in the process we are going to use the business logic. Okay. Anyway, I'm okay. going and to uh, yes, yeah, sure. I had another question on the on the pallets from the exchange. You mentioned earlier that a business would be providing us those those pallets or whatever the the connectors that uh, we need to pick from the exchange right so do you think that the business would give us those details or as a technical resource we should be able to know like which uh, which pallet or which resource we should be picking probably so not the pallet, but are, uh, yeah. yeah both are mutual communication so as a developer if example i am giving them one scenario i'm giving one scenario this is my source of this is my target yeah. application collect the data and hand over to the target system example whatever the connectors you know as of now in future i'm giving the one more scenario like another connector but you should know whether the connector is available or not in the studio as a developer want to know technical guy also want to know then how we are now go to the exchange and verify that related connector are available or not so you can search like this yes this is the connector which is available which is provided the milsoft still if you are not able to find here then you can uh, discuss with your senior manager in there because my our source application so and so but i verify in the exchange it's not available can you please let me know the next approach then they are going to discuss with their higher manager or else they are directly communicate with the mills of team also and they are going to support you this is a, this is will happen mutual communication so because we don't and, know uh, how yes tell me. And uh, if you have to kind of grasp more information on what those pallets do, like uh, say for instance, if, if there is a scenario where I need to go go make a call to some kind of web service or uh, sorry, or like an Amazon uh, AWS, right? So if I have to go get some fetch some data from there, so how do I know like uh, which which of these the like currently like let's just pick Azure. So you have all these like uh, seven different things below, right? So which one should I pick to go fetch data from like Azure database or from cloud? Ha, huh, that is what this was. Uh, that is what I told you, right? There are currently seven pallets are available. Seven pallets which mm -hmm. is supporting and technical team, business team, and uh, those uh, source application team, they are sit together and finalize which is supporting. That is what I'm saying. We don't know which connector is going to be supporting. That time, that is what I found the four connectors that will mills of provide the four connectors. Which one do I need to use? Immediately as a developer, I'm going to ask them all. To who is the who is the POC of point of contact? Like my senior manager or my architect or any guy technical guy, any guy only. We need to discuss with them because we don't know which connector it is going to be supporting what they are sending. So even connector information also, customer and source application team is handed out to Millsoft team. So based upon their input and based upon uh, connector which is available, we need to select and establish the connection and communicate the data. That is what I'm saying now. Okay, sure, yeah, yeah I get that. But uh, say, for instance, if you are in a position to give this information to your like uh, fellow developers, or your, then how would you know, like, okay, what, like, if you have to read through this, so where do you get that information? Oh, sorry, sorry, can you please repeat again? So for instance, if you are in that architect position and if you have to provide the details to the developers, then how do you understand like uh, which connector they should be using? 
because that is what currently there is in the uh, microsoft azure, azure is the storage connector what is the purpose of storage we are storing the data to the azure cloud or cloud azure only then it is going to support the storage connector that is what you, you need to discuss with your architect or your senior manager these are the connectors are available i have gone through the exchange i found these connectors so which connector do i need to use then they are going to discuss it they are going to because what are the connectors is you as a developer you are the new developer you want to implement and anyway in the requirement document or technical document they already mentioned if still they are not mentioned you need to go and verify in the uh, exchange what are the find out the list of connectors and let me know so that we can discuss and find whether which is one is supported that is what i'm saying yeah okay yeah so initially as a developer point of view everything they have mentioned the software required because as a technical document detailed design document or sls document they were mentioned clearly okay these are the i am going to commit the source application i don't know which connector is supporting so i am gone through the document okay this is the connector already supported means of which is double nexus simply can download it till they are not mentioned the software connector name then you can raise a concern can you please let me know which connector do i need to use then they will come back to you and they will suggest you you can download it all okay this is how it will happen in the initial requirement clarification as a developer new soft developer first question is this is the mic this is the source then immediately as a developer not only senior manager the senior integration developers also can you let me know which connect is going to support this is a very basic first question they are going to raise the concern okay let me check whether the connector is available or not if not then i directly come with this mil soft uh, this is the my requirement are you providing the any connector still they are not then we can look into the other alternative it will happen in the frequently in the real time but this is high level i am talking about not in the low level okay okay any other doubts see currently example uh, what are the scenario which you are going to i am using the colibra is the connector okay see this is a connector colibra my uh, this is also one more connector cloud related connector i search in the google but i am not able to find the colibra connector then the same way you can search in the google here colibra means soft connector see but i am not able to find here but it is available in the milsoft official site also run colibra connective milsoft how i know because i i discussed with my manager and they have given the some other approach to go and come uh, download the connector which is available which is available in the community there is a community means soft colibra community it is available you can download the jar file this is how it happens sometimes so that is what i'm saying okay. it will support the colibra okay. dg6 it will support the mil soft but it is not available okay. as a developer okay. i don't know because my manager or senior manager they already communicate with them they already mentioned the document even i have gone through the document only i can i go and verify the i install the software where it is available that is what i mean they have mentioned the one confluence in the confluence nothing matter all the project related documents which is available in the all the projects so from there you can go through the document that related uh, document is available just to go through it and download the connector and uh, you can start your download this is happened in frequently in very recently one two months ago because they are supporting the colibra this is a cloud based connector but this is the first time i am hearing this connector name also honestly but i don't know then i can discuss with them they have mentioned this is the soft uh, document which is already available our project sites you can download it you can go through how it works and i can download where then immediately i am going to ask me i am not i couldn't find in exchange then what is the approach that this is the site is available you can download from there this will happen this is what you are expecting yes okay Uh, any other doubt and once you run your application you want to test your flow i told you that post one is a software that is web based application so web based application if you are sending there are so many people are sending web based applications how we are going to uh, web based application related examples which is supported by the http is the connector so by using http connector the things is required right post port and path then go to the postman or browser also okay example browser i'm using http local host what is the port number you are using 
5415 just enter 5415 start then path is the unique path is the unique you can enter the path here then you are receiving the data so browser send a request browser send a request the request means of is receiving the request and after that the same request is going to hand out to the next palette this is the arrow you will come to the next palette after next set payload after set payload there is no palette right means flow is going to be ended means then set payload is asking to whom do i need to send the data what data whatever the data which you have defined here i am fine now down arrow is going to be apparent as source this is always come in the source application here source is browser now you are receiving the data this is how systems are communicating after set payload there is no palette flow is going to be ended now set payload whatever the set payload data it is going to hand out to the this listener this listener always pointing to source application now my source application is the browser so browser has received the data this is how we are designing the mail flows now if you want to send same data to any other connector example or jms or database or anything you can select you want to select or insert the data to the same database example now now my source is browser and my target is database like this only we are going to implement before inserting the database what how what kind of data we are going to insert in, that kind of logic which you are going to inserting here only okay this is the source and this is the target in between we are writing business logic here mule soft follow the architecture called seda architecture mule soft follow the architecture called seda seda means stage event driven architecture stage means this is one stage this is one stage this is one stage this is consumer stage means receiver and always this stage is responsible to communicate the source system to collect the data after collecting we are writing business logic this is the middle where we are going to write business logic this stage means we are dispatching the data each stage 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 event driven this is also one stage what event even nothing but action what action we are doing even nothing but action what action it always coming the data to collect communicate the source application to collect the data this also business logic stage where what we are doing we are writing the business logic needed of to hand out the data to the target system what target is expecting that kind of business logic which are going to be uh, implementing here only this is the dispatch stage stage dispatch stage means we are going to inserting or we are going to hand out the data to the target system what data whatever the process which are going to hand out this stage and this system this connector is the responsible to communicate with the target system this is the dispatch stage so that is the reason they are calling as a seda architecture stage event driven architecture each there are three stages receiver process and dispatch stage receiver stage where we are going to receiving the data to communicate source and collect the data process stage where we are going to writing business logic dispatch stage means after collect the data from the process and dispatching to the target system this is how mill soft follow this is combination of pallets there is no limit n number of pallets we are going to drag it in single flow based upon the requirement we need to select the corresponding pallet and then we can implement the changes on the data how data is going to be carried right this is the arrow and whatever the data which is available the next it is going to be handed to the next pallet so next pallet whatever the data is available it is going to hand out to the next pallet sequentially data is going to be carried finally delivered to the target system that's it that is how we are going to implement the mean flows so that is the reason i mentioned as a combination of pallets that in but one mean flows based upon the requirement we need to select the pallets and implement the flows sequentially data is going to be carried it cannot carry from here to here okay in if it is required you can instead of this one you can carry but directly we cannot insert also because this is the one format and supporting this is the one format is supporting so in between we are writing our business logic so that is the reason 
process is required whatever the source system is expecting whatever the target system is expecting process where the process we are writing business logic and we can implement the changes any doubt here this is a very basic to install to editor understanding to design basic flow how to run the flow this is the very basic thing if you have any doubt you can let me know if you are fine and closing today please try to install the software we'll meet tomorrow morning and i'm start with the pure development classes till now any doubt yes, sir. Yes, sir. <coughs> tell me yes tell me no i'm asking tell me tell me okay. at the same time at yeah, the same time 8 o'clock yeah okay 8 a.m. for you 8 a.m. no no i mean for us also 8 a.m. right like i mean eastern time yeah yeah Okay. Yeah, you should done. Ah, Chandra, sir, tell me, Chandra. Chandra, sorry. So, oh, sorry. Yeah. so my question here was like, yeah. So, from listener, so if 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 the flow doesn't have to go after the insert, like uh, if if it has to end there, then what do you do? Ah, uh, there is no insert after that. Instead of. Yeah. So after insert, uh, you don't have to do anything, and you're done with that process. So, so this. Flow is going to end. What I was asking. right after the listener and after the database activity if you want to end the process then uh, how do you end it no if you are not keeping any planet example database planet if you select insert the data after insert there is no planet am i right right so the flow is going to be ended whatever the data is going to collect it, and you are trying to insert the data into the database then after that there is no planet flow is going to be completed successfully it is going to be insert the data into the database Okay, so my question was: so you have the listener activity at the beginning, right? And you have mm -hmm. something similar at the bottom where it uh, responds back to your listener, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. So does it have to be there always, or uh, is it up to See? the developers? No, no. Insert palette. It won't return any response after inserting. It will return the if you want any confirmation message, you can drag one set payload here successfully. After insert, insert database. It won't return any response. But you want to know. whether data has been inserted or not after insertion what the data has, the cursor has moved to the next palette then i am writing here only example data has been inserted data has been inserted because this palette is executed after this one only after this one only this going to be executed if it get failed it won't execute i am thinking okay, like so this question was yeah, yeah. so my question was like okay after the set payload i don't want anything to happen and uh, so so if you see the arrow going back from set payload it goes to some the response activity correct yes set response activity yeah so so does it have always does it always need to go back or is it depend on the or yes. does it depend on the kind of activity that you picked yeah depends example if you select the vm correct there are two ways vm that is depends upon the activity the arrow is going to be okay. showing you only vm publisher publisher uh, there are pub, de, de, based upon the connector uh, sometimes we were send to the target system the arrow is going to be ended here only here it won't display okay okay that it depends upon the connector based upon the current which you selected arrow is going to be represent okay Yes, thank you. You mean to say that the bottom arrow, right? So it it doesn't always work. It it works only when uh, you are configuring it using a payload as such, right? Yes, yeah, depends upon the arrow. Depends upon the connector. Example, mm -hmm. you need to send the data to the target system. Target system mm -hmm. means my question is now you are saying that you are you have, you have implemented the flow line. Source is collect the data. You send the data, and you mm -hmm. run the your flow. then after sender you want to know whether the successfully send the data then how you are going to know because so knowledge that, you didn't yeah right 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 so is there any other uh, palette like uh, set payload like uh, we may be having transformation as such right mm -hmm. no any other palettes means what related so what i mean like let's say for example like uh, so uh, right uh, you are using set payload and then uh, the uh, response is being uh, rerouted to the uh, uh, let me take the whoever is the sender right like a mm -hmm. http response 
So, uh, is there any other uh, pallet uh, like uh, set payload where uh, which we can use uh, to return anything to the uh, center? Yeah, there are a couple of pallets are available, but that is based upon the requirement because we are in the basic one only, so that is the reason I was selecting a set payload. Okay. Now, in payload, you can use the any other pallet also if you want to get any response. Okay. So the transfer message pallet is available in the transfer message also. You are writing your customized okay. message, you can write it also. Got it. ரெண்ட் எக்ஸ்பெக்டிங் <laughs> sending also we need to communicate with the another connector okay so before source and target we are using so many connectors in between also okay got it yeah like same uh, e-commerce application if you are using now example you are placing one order you are communicate with the payment system once you are placing order you are entering all your bank details submit then immediately you are receiving one message your amount has been deducted on account at the same time you are receiving one uh, invoice also your order has been confirmed uh, this is your invoice details but you are send a request payment system but immediately payment system as well you know, invoice also you are receiving how it communicate internally it is going to communicate the vendor and get the dates am i right or not so yes, vendor is the connected yes vendor application how we are going to communicate the vendor application that it doesn't matter this is also another connector which you are going to communicate the vendor application to get the date final invoice and talking because whatever the amount which you are in data in your account you are getting a separate message and invoice that includes your payment information and your product and when they are going to delivery you are all your information this is internally communicate the other system finally we are generating the invoice so in between sometimes source one target only before hand out to the target system also internally we are communicate the n number of communication systems and collect the all the systems data and merging final output is going to be hand out to the target system how do we know on which connector do i need to communicate a disconnect system that is they are going to clearly mention the requirement number that designing the like uh, sequence diagrams okay this is the source and this is the target in between it collect the communicate this one and collect the data and what about the source data what about the in between you are communicate the another connector merge the data and hand out to the target system so like 10 connectors also in between sometimes you need to communicate on two connectors also that is based upon the requirement uh, source and target what about the uh, requirement we need to communicate and collect that data any other out Hey, I have a question. Yeah. Suppose in case that there is a two or three developers is available for the it may be a big project. Three of them is working with the different different parts, and we want to merge together and finally we push it into one code. Is that possible in this particular uh, tool, or uh, what are the options? Is it possible? The same because uh, even project also they say. Uh, like uh, different different people are using and finally they are going to merging the changes that is even not like only versioning, um, like versioning or something uh, that uh, how do how do we can identify that uh, like uh, same project people are maintain the same version such same project if i am the team you are also my team member i am also your team member we both are working the same project then we both are using the same version so project is changing same version, version. same version sir same version 
we have same version that is what in the same project we have a different different modules the center project they are meant in the same version only different version means our dependency and jar files everything should be changed because this is the sample project in the sample project then uh, your task is you can design this flow even i am also working the sample project my task is different then we both are including here only because here you can create n number of projects sub projects also sample is the main project this is the sample one project and sample two also you can create example this is the one more project sample 2 this is the module 2 i am talking about module 2 okay this is the module 1 project name is sample this is the module 1 you are implementing module 2 i am implementing but finally end to end we are we both are including and testing only and one scenario for your scenario is one source one target you can implement my scenario one source one target implemented final communication we both are merging that will happen Project is same, module is different, but in here same scenario, same version of studio we both are maintaining. Otherwise, deployment definitely get failed. So project is completely different. Sample one project you are implementing, even I am also using sample two project. That is up to your wish. What are the version they are suggesting you are implementing, you are using? Clear? Okay. Yeah. here we can implement in real time so we are not writing all the projects here only we can implement like this only module 1 module 2 module 3 module 4 so finally they are going to merge all the modules and test up with the interlink where it is required then we can end to end testing final all the modules are merging then we can do the end to end testing that will happen any doubt if you are fine i am closing now we'll meet tomorrow 8 am est thanks sir thank you sir okay, okay. thank you bye bye you're welcome thank you, thank you.